Welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting day. I have been waiting for a while now for a package to arrive from Morphe and it's finally here. Introducing the Miss James Charles palette. Come on, focus. Well, she's not gonna focus, but that's fine. So I have been waiting for about a week to get this thing in. I ordered it the day that it came out. I just had to get it, had to play with it. And it's freaking huge. Like, look at that, how pretty. So cute. This is like the Jaclyn Hill in comparison. This one is quite large. I also have the Dare to Create palette, which is the same size and the same concept as the James palette. So when you open it up, it has the little sheet to protect the shadows with the names on it. I personally hate this sheet because I end up losing it or I have to, you know, like slap it back over the shadows, read the stuff. Like there is room for the names on this palette, but can we just, can we just, this is probably the most beautiful palette I will ever own. I don't think I'll ever need to buy another eyeshadow palette ever again. Like this color, this, 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 the every, everything. Everything is perfect. So I'm just gonna jump right into the eyes for this. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put on a little brow and just kind of chat for a second. Um, so the palette has a lot of pressed pigments. So what that means is that it's just full on color and no mica, no little other ingredients in it that are gonna make it more sheer. And so these are gonna be super pigmented, at least I'm hoping. And they're really, I think, gonna blend well. Like a pressed pigment is just the way to go. Loose pigment shadows are nice as well, but they are really dirty sometimes just because they'll fluff around and move. So I also have watched some reviews already on the palette. I wanted to get a good sense of how to use it and what to do because um, you know all those drama channels are gonna start some mess and I just wanna give the real tea. So he says not to use concealer on the lids, which is like, a slap in the face because I love a wet concealer and just packing on those shadows but I have heard that you get the max pigment with an eye primer so we're gonna use the Urban Decay primer and I personally have tinted lids they get a little oily as well so that's why I like to set them because I don't want my shit to crease but in the sake of having a good review and really getting these products to perform well, we're gonna use an eye primer today. So now that we have that laid down, I don't really know what kind of look I wanna do, but there's so many colors here that are speaking to me. Um, I haven't done a blue eyeshadow look in a while, so I'm gonna jump into the shade Cola. I don't even know if you can see it on the brush, but it's like a dark blue. And we're just gonna start that on the outer corner. And there's no fallout on my face, I just wanna say, which is crazy for a shade of this color. Now I'm gonna take an even smaller brush and go in with the shade Playground, stamp it, right along this line. And then with what's left on the brush, I'm just gonna do little scratch motions. And now with that same brush, I'm gonna dip into the shade Flashback. And it is like a white shade. I'm gonna do the same thing and just kinda tap right up in here. It kind of 
brings the eye up and out. Going back into playground, and I'm just gonna press that into this outer region and just connect all of that blue. And normally a light shade like this won't actually show up that well over a darker shadow, but you can actually like see where it's covering it. Like that's a sign of a really good shadow and a really good pigment. Now I've seen a ton of people use the purple shade artistry and so I think I want to do the same thing because it's just beautiful and I'm going to try it with my finger just because I know that that can really help with the payoff. It looks wet and look at that shine, it has like a blue shift. Okay, this is going on my eye. And I really wanted to see how it would play with the blue and it's gorgeous. So I'm gonna take a small little brush and take some spray dip in. I'm just gonna intensify the very center, or try to. I'm gonna take a small little brush and I'm gonna dip into the shade Hello. I didn't spend my brush or anything and look at that how pretty. So, so far, so great, actually. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and do my foundation and all that mess off camera, and I'll be back. And we're back. I threw on a little Maybelline lipstick in the shade Explorer, and then I topped it off with the shade I used on my inner corner, and when I smacked together, it did this, and it's like, almost like a semi-metal lipstick now. And I did some Nikki Tutorials and Ofra Glow, and I did my base ABH Blush and Bronzer. And now we're gonna get into this lower lash line. So I think I wanna use another color in the palette and the shade so good is calling to me it is a beautiful red so i'm going to take this shade and just pack it right in here Okay, that is super cute. It just kind of added that little bit of extraness that I needed. So I'm gonna take another small brush and go back into that shade I used in the second part of my crease. I just kind of connect these two on this outer edge. So I'm gonna pop on these Lily Lashes in my Ami and a little mascara and I will be back my final thoughts. I absolutely adore this palette. I think it is a great investment. You have pretty much every single shade you could ever, ever need. I have so many colorful palettes now, I don't think I'll ever need to purchase another one. Um, the blue, so pigmented, so blendable. That purple artistry shade is gorgeous. So good is so good. This inner corner glow is just giving Ofra a run for its money at this point, honey. Um, I also wanted to try the highlighting shade. It's called Face. And I just want to slap it on this collarbone. And I like a fan brush for applying highlight on the collarbone because it just fits my collarbone size very well. But, um, okay, there we go. Sister's cute. But 
all in all, I love this palette. I think it is great, and I'm so proud of him for just breaking all these barriers and for giving us something that we really wanted. At least I really wanted, because whenever I saw him reveal this, I was like, take my coin, I don't need it anymore. You can have it, it's for you. And here we are, so. Thank you so much for watching this review, and I will see you on the next one.